Good morning, everybody. William here, and welcome to my first Facebook Live on Section 231. All right. Life. Right? All like, ooh, super deep. All of a sudden, he's going to talk about life. I'm not going to look at the camera too much here because I'm about to turn left into traffic, so I'm going to focus on uh, driving here shortly. Um, I am focusing now, but... You know, uh, life, life has a funny way of really testing you. Um, really showing you the irony in things. Showing you beauty when you just think it's just all dirty and nasty. And um, it also has the flip side of, <laughs> man, you think you're just cruising along and everything is fantastic. And then, wham! just a right hook to the face and we're not talking like some mamby pammy like featherweight right hook we're talking like a mike tyson back in the day biting holyfield's ear off right hook and uh you you have a choice right then and there once you get once you're conscious again because there's a moment there's a moment where nothing is right nothing is gonna make sense you are just dazed you are you are on your ass and you're you're scared, you're crying, you're you're cursing the gods, you're doing whatever it is, and all that happens in like a blink of an eye. I and mean, what do you do next? Like, what is your next step? I mean, this is put one hand on the ground and try and lift your body up. And sometimes then you can't even do it. Sometimes you got it's so damn hard. Somebody has to help you up. And uh, that can be that can be humbling in, in the same sense as that can just be humbling in its own right. Just you're used to doing everything on your own, standing out there, just taking the world on, loving life, really, really just doing some great things and is wham. I, I'm not saying I have the answers. I'm just saying this is something that I'm feeling right now. Just kind of, you know, you're going along and boom, just get punched. Just, sorry, a little phone call came in. Just getting punched and, you know, right now I'm down on the mat. Um, you know, luckily it's nothing to do with my health or things like that. It's a, it's a business thing and had to reach out I've had to reach out when I say I I mean we I mean my wife Sarah and I we've had to reach out and we've had to have somebody help pick us up and I'm not saying we're standing right now we might be on a knee we're breathing heavy we're getting ready to get back up and get in the fight you know we're still in the ring the fight's not over man <laughs> I'm not even a boxing fan but this analogy is kind of making sense it's uh you know, there's a, there's a little timeout going on. A little, a little, the, the ref is over here checking us, making sure we can keep going, make sure the bleed's not too bad. It's not. Bleeding's not too bad. So, you know, the story continues. Um, but just so you know, you're not out there alone. You're not the only one who feels that way, where you just get knocked right in the face, kicked in the teeth, and just kind of brought back down to reality. So... You're not alone. That's all I got to say. You're not alone. And um, don't worry about me. Don't pity me. Don't feel bad for me. Um, root for me. Support me. Cheer me on. Tell me to get my ass up. One knee on the ground, and I'll get both knees off the ground. I still may have my hands on my knees, but I'm off the ground. So right now we got one knee on the ground, one knee up, and we're just taking a breath, and we're, we're listening to the people around us that can help us get us to where we need to be. So that's it. That's all I got right now. You all have a fantastic day, and um, thanks for listening. You're not alone. Deuces.